Okay, so yeah, we are gone out live. So we'll just let people start to join now. Yeah, it can sometimes just take a few minutes. It can, yeah. yeah. Technology is wonderful when it works, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I can see some people are starting to join now, which is great. Yeah, we'll just um, get everyone to leave, like use the Q&A for questions um, and like, you know, normally, I suppose just for Jill as well, normally we just like, you know, go through your story in that and in this question, so. Yeah, great. The perfect lunchtime uh, entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. In fairness, I'm a, I'm a big tan lover, so. I'm very excited to learn all about yeah. this as well. So I've been yeah, wearing tan for, tan for years. I don't think I go a week without putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. It's Hi, hard. Grace. Are you okay? Sorry. Grace has put up her hand. Oh. Steve oh, is having some issues with the wi-fi a little bit sometimes it jumps a little bit just to let you know but i will try it does keep coming back so it's okay so i'll okay. try my best let me know if there's any issue when i speak you can let me know yeah um and we can try and get it sorted apologies for that living in the no, country sometimes fine. isn't uh flawless oh, with wi-fi <laughs> oh i know i know sir sure. It often kicks out. Am I actually, it? Sorry, am I actually keep the presentation not as in a presentation mode, but uh, with the main slide, so I can see um, I can see you guys just in yeah. case. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Whatever. Whatever works best. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, if you're joining just now, we're going to kick off in a, in a minute. We're just giving some people more time to join. Um, Grace, I see you put your hand up. Um, if you want to just type a question into the Q and A, um, or if you'd like to uh, chat, uh, just let me know. Oh yeah, or it could have been a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> I'm off, off and doing yeah, that. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping we get some good tips i'm going on holiday soon so i definitely want to ask you about holiday tan or in preparation for it or how to keep it on a way so where are you going somewhere nice uh mallorca lovely oh, yeah. so it's my first time going with my family i went to a wedding there years ago but i like don't really, i don't have <laughs> it's more around like with the kids now and snorkeling and everything so i'm looking forward to it very good very good I think any sunshine. I feel like today we've got sunshine, which is nice, but it's been yeah. quite poor here, I think, anywhere in Ireland. So I'm looking oh, forward yeah. to some sunshine. It is. Are you heading off anywhere yourself? Going to Madeira um, near the end of August. So I'm quite excited to see what yeah. it's what it's like. It looks beautiful. Yeah. No, nice. that'll be beautiful. I've never been. No, I have never been either. Yeah. <laughs> It was quite good, um, really direct, easy, cheap flights from, from Dublin. So I'm driving down and going from Dublin. Usually I would fly from Belfast, but it seems very handy to go from Dublin. Ah, uh, perfect. Yeah. So why I see another icon with my name connecting to Avio? I yeah, think this, I this might be that. Alex. Uh, whenever I came up, it was your name as well. I think because I've used your exact link. I was just looking <laughs> Alex. Oh hi, hi Alex. Alex. How are you? Yes, I'm fine on this now. Good, good. Okay, well, I think we'll kick it off because I know people are on their lunch break and we'll just let people um slowly join. Um, so welcome to everybody who's joined in so far for this fab uh, Meet the Brand with Vita Liberata. Um, so I believe some of the people joining today probably received some of the fabulous products that we sent out um, for them to try and test. So we hope that you're enjoying them and leaving your reviews. So to introduce, we have Marika and we have Jill and we also have Alex who have joined us today. And they work for Vita Liberata. 
and they're going to educate us and tell us all about Vita Liberata, the brand. And if you have any questions, please do ask the questions. There's a Q&A box at the bottom. You can type your question into that. And um, myself and Kira will take an opportunity maybe towards the end. We can put some questions to you as well. Um, and just so everybody knows that uh, this is being recorded also. So uh, yes, if you want to kick start and so we can learn all about Vita Liberata, we're very excited. Absolutely. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, beauty buddies. <laughs> uh, I'm really pleased uh, to have this opportunity and talk about uh, our lovely brand. Um, yes, please hit us with questions. So we keep uh, we want to keep the uh, presentations, not even a presentation, the educational, very interactive and relevant to you. So please send questions. And we also want to do a little uh, giveaway. Uh, so uh, pay attention to what we say. I know you do anyway, but... <laughs> we love a quiz and beauty. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely love Let a quiz. Let me take a little note because uh, um, here is the giveaway. Uh, just post on your, uh, on your social media, tag a friend, post a fun fact, or it doesn't have to be a fun fact, a fact that you learned today, and then we'll pick a lucky winner and uh, I'll show you later what you will get, which is a lovely gift set from Vita Liberata. So you get to have a good selection of our product. So without further ado, let me start sharing my screen. And I promise we're not going to go through a boring presentation. It's just mm -hmm. a couple of slides to break the ice. Um, and just a quick word, just, you know, before we start. So I'm the senior brand manager. I look after marketing. I work with the lovely Jill, who will be jumping in the presentation as well and the conversation. Jill is our brand educator. So actually, she's the one who really knows stuff <laughs> and then we have Alex who's our uh, European uh, junior brand manager she looks after the French market and also all the European markets so without uh, wasting any more time let me share my screen so welcome let's start with uh, a little exercise so please close your eyes and think fake tongue what do you see? You don't need to type it. Now open the eyes. I bet some of you have seen or have been thinking about <laughs> the tiger bread. <laughs> well, that tells me how many of you don't know Vita Liberata because this is what we see. And this is not us. I mean, I wish it was us. <laughs> these are just, uh, these are consumers. These are people, um, influencers uh, or makeup artists as well, who actually use our product and then post about the effect. And as we like to see uh, or to say, what we see is a lovely, natural looking tan. And if you have to remember one thing from today, this is it. What is Vita Liberata? It's natural looking tan. So it's you, it's your own color. We're not going to change you, but you're going to be much more glowing. So we're going to enhance your natural color. Like you've been in the sunshine for a few hours or uh, for a few days, depending on how much you want to build your own tan. And you can keep calling it fake tan, but we really don't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we prefer sunless tanning. And uh, there's a lot in just these two simple words. There's a lot, uh, uh, you know, we did it. Sunless. I mean, nothing wrong with the sun. You probably already work it out from my strong accent. I'm Italian. I love the sunshine. I was engineered to stay in the sunshine. But the sunshine is not always good for you. So mm -hmm. what I actually really love is having the color that the sunshine gives to my, uh, to my skin. And it's a fact. We all look better when we have a little bit of color from the sunshine. Problem is, uh, how can we do that safely? There's plenty of options. But one option is not being in the sunshine and get the color through self-tanning. Self so... What is Vita Liberata? We are the leading expert in luxury sunless tanning for all skin types. So as you've seen in the pictures I've just shared, uh, we, we are perfect for all different type of uh, skin shades, 
all type, all type of uh, uh, bodies, ethnicity. Um, you know, Vita Liberata is very um, is very adaptable, and there's there's a product for everybody or a shade for everybody. And why we are different? Because we combine the smartest technology and also skin loving organic ingredient. So that's really at the heart of Vita Liberata. It's not only giving you that natural, uh, flawless and uh, um, lovely glow and tan, but it's also good for the skin. So a little bit more about us. We have to thank this lovely lady. This is Alison Hogg. She's from Ireland, Northern Ireland, and she's the um, inventor, if I can say, uh, of the brand. And it all started in 2007 because she had a dream. She wanted to redefine self-tanning. She was sick of orange girls around her, and she was sick of being scared of putting any product on her because she didn't want to turn out like it. Tiger bread. <laughs> so she decided that the best way to do it was do it herself, like in most cases. And she invented the brand, really combining the best ingredient available on the market with the best technologies. And we still do the same. Today, we're still working hard in order to redefine the self-tan category because we want to make it a self-care destination. Mm -hmm. So Think about self-care, think about self-confidence uh, and also self-indulgence, indulgence, <laughs> because all of these in a self-done form. So, as I said, we're calling out at all skin tones, body types, uh, confident consumers who want that little glow. But with a new attitude, I mean, we have a product for the ones who just want to give their legs a little bit of extra love to the one that would not go out without a bit of color to the ones who just do it because it feels good. And also we talk to the ones who don't want to wear fake tan. So I don't know if you spotted it, but we were in a Hello magazine a couple of days ago because the lovely Holly Willoughby, she doesn't do fake tan, fair enough, but she does use Vita Liberata body makeup, which gives exactly the same effect, but it's a wash off. So it's a mm -hmm. makeup. And we come back on body blur because it's really one of the um, most successful and most popular product we have in the range. Just a touch to reinforce the message that we, that we do use uh, the finest organic extract. So in all our products, there are organic natural ingredients, not all of those, because it depends on the product, but in, uh, in all our products, uh, um, there are natural ingredients, which is why we can, uh, we can claim it's natural looking time. And just a little fact, but one of our favorite is pomegranate, and I never pronounced this name properly, so this one you can see in the screen. And most people don't know that uh, it's really a golden ingredient, so you will see it in some of our uh, product, but it does have huge benefit for the skin. So in a nutshell, this is Vita Liberata. Oh, I didn't say the name of the brand. The Vita Liberata is actually an Italian name. But the brand is not Italian. The brand was established in Northern Ireland and is now distributed around the world. Um, we don't, ha we have an office in Northern Ireland, but uh, we all work remotely. So I'm based in England, Alex is in France, and Jill, for example, is in Northern Ireland. And you might know or not know what does Vita Liberata mean. So it's an Italian word, Vita means life, and uh, liberata means free. So again, such a lovely way to say, you know what? Enjoy your life. Life is better if you have a bit of something <laughs> on your skin. <laughs> and you can do it in a very free and easy way. So I know that you're asking. I think we have some Q&A, do we? Mm -hmm. Shall I just click on the link? Yeah. So Perla is just wondering how long this tan will stay mm -hmm. on your skin. I'm happy to, to answer that one if you want, Marika. Yes, over to you, Jay. <laughs> so it depends what, what product you choose. I mean, if you choose a, a body blur or a body makeup, for example, it's a wash-off product. But if you choose tan with DHA in it that develops on your skin, usually around four days to a week, it depends. You know, if you go in the water or you're on holidays and you shower and you 
maybe go to the gym and do a lot of showering every day, you might get closer to four or five days. But if you maybe shower every other day or you're not a super active person, you'll definitely get good color from, you know, up to a week. And also you can extend it further with our gradual tan, which Marika will talk about. You can really keep that color and make it last, you know, last quite a while. Thanks, Jill. I'm not going to talk about the product. You are the expert. I just wanted to show and, uh, you know, start the conversation and actually get the question. Because one of the key questions we get is, okay, but what is the right product for me? As Jill touched on it, well, we have plenty, as you can see on the screen now. But we like to divide our collection between the makeup and the tanning. So if we look at the top of the of the screen that's the tanning option you have and you might prefer a tinted product so when you put it on i wasn't an expert tanner i'm still a, a mm. not but i use the product now and they kind of make it makes it easier if you see the tan when you put the product on so if the product is tinted has some color mm. i found it easier because i can see if i'm doing it properly if it makes sense but we also have untinted product which you see at the top right of the screen and they have a lot of reason to be as well because if you're worried that you might stain or you might have you know you're wearing a lovely white top and our product doesn't you know they don't stain but you might have that worry and you don't want to have it playing on your mind so just use a clear product and you're super safe mm -hmm. um, and then at the bottom the makeup range as Jill has touched on it uh, that's not developing a tan that's really giving colors like using a foundation we have something for the body and something for the face and then we have our lovely tanning mate which is your best friend it does help massively in putting the product on so how do we want to take this forward should we have a look at our best sellers or do we have another question do you um, have another question? Yeah. 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 Is it safe to use the beauty blur with SPF? Fatima is asking. So absolutely. We always recommend SPF no matter, you know, when you're wearing tan or when you're not to protect your skin. So what I would say is put, do your skincare and then have SPF on top and then do the beauty blur as like your makeup step mm -hmm. after your SPF. And that would be the perfect sort of way to do that. Okay. Amazing. I found it so interesting during your presentation there, Marika, that the use of pomegranate, I never knew that mm. in it. Yeah. And uh, the amount of um, organic um, ingredients that go into it, it's fantastic. Yeah. It really is. And even the chemical, that's the word that we shouldn't say, but yeah. DHA is a chemical yeah. with a natural um, background in a way because it comes from yeah. sugar beets. So obviously then it has to be processed in the laboratory in order to create DHA, which is the substance that actually trick your skin and let the skin develop the color. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the process is natural as well. And our DHA is encapsulated. So it's even gentler on the okay. skin, which is okay. why, yeah, no tiger blood inside. <laughs> That's and just, yeah, well, sorry. Um, just on the DHA, I know there was um, a lot of tans um, had to reevaluate because of the, the laws around DHA yeah. use. So... Um, I suppose, and, and we know a lot of people were a bit concerned about that. So is that something that you want to just like address them? Like the yes, the regulation has changed and they put a limit to the quantity of the HA you can actually put in the product. But we didn't have to change any of our formulation mm -hmm. because our formulation are safe. So we didn't, you know, that's also why we yeah, didn't yeah. orange because the quantity is just right and it's mixed uh, with other ingredients. But for some brand, uh, it's been uh, it a problem. Good. In yeah. fact, if you go around in supermarkets at the minute, suddenly you see a lot of self standing products super discounted. Yeah, <laughs> where are they gone? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. regulation comes into the mix. I mean, it's not harmful, just be aware that they mm -hmm. have a bit too much. DHA. Yeah. So again, this yeah, is. Yeah, well, that's great to hear about Vita Liberata as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it'd be great to hear about uh, some of the products. And like I said, I'm being uh, 
surprised here because I'm going to hear about how I should prepare my skin for holiday and how to keep the tan during holiday. Yeah. But talking about products, uh, I really start from what I consider the door to the sunless tanning world, or it's, at least that's what it's been for me. It's been, this has been the first product I've ever used um, as a self-tanner lotion. And I think that indeed is the easiest one to use. It's just a lotion. It's super moisturizing. You just put it on after your shower. And I've done it, and I do recommend to do it maybe in the evening before going to bed. You just put your moisturizer on. It's good body and face. And you go to bed. And you wake up the next day with nice glow. And then you decide what to do. Are you happy with that? Great. Oh, I love more. You keep applying it. But I hand it over to Jill because she is the expert. <laughs> I was just thinking there about holidays. You'd asked about holidays. Yeah. And I think this product is such a perfect one to bring away on holidays. Because for me, like the aloe vera concentration in this is so high as well as shea butter, hyaluronic acid. So for me in this product, I love this as after you've been on the beach or by the pool for a day, mm -hmm. come in in the evening, wash off your all your SPF and use this as your after shower moisturizer. And it really just tops up your, your tan color. And then you can go out that evening and just mm -hmm. keep it on till the next day. You know, you don't need to wash it off. There's no guide color there. So it's a mm -hmm. really, really nice sort of after sun slash yes. tanning product to bring away. That is so up my street now because I like struggle. I want to like there's days that I want to use uh, sunless tan, but I'm thinking, oh, if I have my shower now, then I have to wait another hour to, have a to wash it, and so then I end up not doing it. So this is so for me. Um, so <laughs> and, just make sure you wash your hands after. That's the only thing. Wash your hands after because you can apply it with your hands and not emit. So that's the only that's thing nice. I would say. Yeah. I was just going to ask you that, do you apply it with a mitt or your hands? So that's good to know. And so would so I would start with that. I don't need to do a base and then top up with that or? What? It, it depends on what you like. Um, me personally, I do like a darker tan. So quite often I'll maybe use our dark mousse tan and then the next day or the next couple of days, I want to just kind of enhance it and make the color a little bit darker. So then I'll use the, the moisturizer. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. Um, do you mind if we just pop into the questions? Just uh, there's a couple coming in. Um, Sorry, the question um, icon is I'm just underneath my camera, so I have to do this to see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. See the numbers popping up. This is beautiful. <laughs> yes, we've got uh, three three questions, so this is great. yeah, yeah. So we have: Would the body makeup transfer to your clothes or anything? So as someone who doesn't. Uh, used the big tan she loves the idea of body makeup so that's Joanna okay I would say I mean it is a makeup so there's going to be some level of of transfer mm -hmm. we're not going to lie about that um, mm -hmm. for me I find the perfect way to do this is especially like if you're wearing it maybe to a wedding or you're in the sun or you know you're going to be warm um, what I would say is apply it when you get out of the shower then do your makeup then dry your hair and then get dressed afterwards so have it on your skin maybe for a good half an hour while you're getting ready and then get dressed and then yeah. you'll limit any any risk of, of transfer um also i would say i mean if you're wearing white and you want to wear it on your arms maybe just wear it you know on the top sort of layers of your arm and not maybe underneath just if we're getting some of this extreme warm weather yeah. <laughs> we don't get as much of it here obviously in ireland but um yeah just to kind of limit the risk of that but it really is lovely and you can actually apply that with your hands just a very very light layer if you want to glow or if you want a lot of coverage and like a really intense glow from the, the body makeup, you can use the mitt um, for a thicker application. I actually seen, um, Jill, I don't know, do you follow this, an Irish influencer, well, blogger, uh, Faces by Grace, got married. Oh, no, she got married um, at the weekend and um, she posted that she just done her tan that morning and 20 minutes before she put her dress on, she used the body blur by Vita Liberata. So, and I was like, <gasps> Like with your wedding dress, but obviously it didn't transfer. So like it is, amazing. Yeah, it, it is very, very fabulous. doable. Yeah, it's very it doable. Like fabulous. I wore it on my wedding day as well, and I just put a lot like on my decollete and my collarbones yeah. on the top of my arms. It's just being careful not to put loads, you know, of where course. you're gonna be rubbing, but it definitely it was so beautiful and it's really lovely when you get flash photography onto the skin because it yeah. just pings the light. 
Ooh, yeah, I can imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, she looked absolutely stunning anyway. And I was like blown away when she said she just used Vita Liberata on the morning body blur. So she didn't do spray tan or anything. So, oh, amazing. yeah. We get we get a lot of coverage for uh, body blur, especially mm. from uh, makeup artists who do the makeup for celebrities. I mean, one of the latest has been uh, uh, Laura Whitmore and, you know, the Love Island mm. presenter. Yeah. Yeah. Makeup artist. Uh, she basically took pictures saying that she was using uh, body blur to get that glow. But not I mean, we got I think that the one of the biggest moments is when um, uh, Megan Fox was using I mean, her well. They said I've done makeup for makeup wow. books and uh, wow. body blur. We were like, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. And so, can I just ask? Oh, sorry, sorry. I uh, just wanted to add is actually that finished touch that Jill mentioned. Especially if you have pictures taken, but even if you don't have t- pictures taken, like on a big event, could be the mm-hmm. wedding or something else. It's really that finish that make you look like red carpet kind of yeah. makeup because you have that little shimmer on oh. the skin that's it <laughs> sounds amazing cool. um so just when you're applying the body blur um you were saying you use a mitt um for that do you use like a kabuki brush or a mitt on your face um which would you and your feet and your hands that kind of i would say for me i would use yeah so use a mitt if it's for you know your limbs like legs you want to get good coverage and be quicker um whenever i'm doing it on see the brush when i'm doing it maybe down my you know my neck or my mm-hmm. hands and my feet that definitely gives the most flawless finish using a, a brush any sort of kabuki brush or as long as it's um big and fluffy but still kind of sturdy enough to really get yeah. the product in there yeah yeah Okay, I'm going to get really nitty gritty now. <laughs> Do you apply the uh, the formula to the brush or to your face and then blend it in? Which you do? It's, I mean, either or. I do find it okay. easier to do a couple of dots maybe on my skin yes. and then buff. Gotcha. Just because okay. if you put it on the brush, what if it falls off or something? I know, yeah. Don't yeah. want any mess. Okay. So a few dots on your skin and then just blend with the brush. Okay, amazing. Yeah. I'll stop asking questions now for a minute and get to some of the other questions. I know, I just seen a good question come in there from Tracy who said, um, how do you make sure that the sunless tan wears off evenly? Mm-hmm. This is similar to even the, the image of the tiger bread that Marika showed us at yes. the start. Yes. Um, it, is, it is the biggest worry, I think, with tan. And when you're, you're already sort of one step ahead when you're using a quality product like Vita Liberata with the ingredients we have, because the hydrating sort of special ingredients that we use are already really going to help make sure it feeds well. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say though skin prep is the number mm-hmm. one. Thing. I mean, we all hear it and you kind of gloss over it. And sometimes we just forget and don't bother, but it's so important to exfoliate. Like yes. tan DHA really does love like dead skin on the surface. So any excess dead skin you have there is whenever it clings and goes darker. So if you can just buff and exfoliate your skin as good, you know, as well as you can mm-hmm. before you tan, then it's the best thing to do. Make sure you don't use anything with an oil base. Um, a lot of shower gels now or body scrubs have lovely oils in them, but that mm-hmm. will just be a disaster. And it, the tan can't penetrate that um, because it oh, needs a barrier on your skin. So yeah. no oil based. I'm taking yeah. my notes. No oil based <laughs> oil products. For that, okay. that applies even to you know on your holidays. If you put a lovely tan on and then you go on holidays, especially at the minute, and we want to wear SPF products yeah. on our skin, don't use any SPF oils or anything really really heavy and rich like that. Will just start to dissolve. It just breaks it up. That's why oil makes your skin feel so soft. It kind of just yeah. it nearly dissolves the dead skin. Um, so you don't want it to take off the tan as well. Use a very light yeah. light lotion SPFs. Okay, great. Great to know. Um, and I can see just another question there from Wendy just saying, uh, can you apply all of your tan to your face? Yes, Beta Liberata products are, are very safe for body and face and, and very hydrating as well. And most of our, our products are non comedogenic so they won't clog the skin. So, yeah. Right. Has we had a great. question on uh, face? Shall we have a look of, yes, all the products are suitable for body or face, but we also have a specific product for face, which is the mm-hmm. lovely one of my favorite. Uh, actually, this has been the very first Vita Liberata product I used. I told a lie earlier. <laughs> um, the serum, the anti-aging tanning serum. And uh, again, that's another 
easy step into the self tanning world because you're doing something really good for your skin because it's super mm -hmm. hydrating and uh, it's full of the great ingredient you need to avoid the aging <laughs> or uh, slow down the aging process mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time if we start building a tan so Jill over to you for all the tricks yeah so so with this serum um it really is an incredible skincare and tanning product. Like all of our products, we don't just make tans, we really make amazing skincare products. Um, with the serum, I would say if you have drier skin or you like a very subtle color, maybe just try mixing a few drops with your moisturizer, with your skincare. For me personally, I have like oily or combination skin mm -hmm. and living here, which I'm, I think most of a lot of you do, <laughs> you don't get yeah. much sun. Um, I like a bit more of a color, so I will wear it like neat on my skin and don't put anything else on. So I like just to get the most color result from it. So okay. that's kind of how I would, how I would do it. Okay. Brilliant. It sounds yeah, fabulous, so that product. The, the ingredients look fab. That, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Bacuchio? Yeah, so isn't Bacuchio. that nature's answer to retinol? Am I right? So is that, so that's fantastic. really um, good active ingredients in that, um, in that serum. Looks fab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ingredients look fantastic. I just seen a comment come in there from Renita. Hi, Renita. She just said she's thankful that she's used her first product from the Vita Liberata range. Uh, thanks to Beauty Buddy, uh, she got the gradual tan and really great for a natural but even glow. Oh, so fun. thanks, Renita, Thank for you. your comment. <laughs> and, did you enjoy it? Yeah, there's a question there from Louise. She said that she suffers with eczema on her arms. I would be have the same issue, actually. And she finds the tan clings to it. So what would you recommend would be the best product to avoid that patchy look? I would say, I mean, the first thing is to exfoliate very gently beforehand. You just want to make sure as much as possible that there's not any dead dryness on the surface of the skin. Um, but I understand that if there's flare ups and things that that still will be there. So if you can, if it's a really obvious patch, um, you know, with a good good border that sounds like a weird thing to say but yeah. either way, sometimes it can be very general but sometimes it can be more patches and um, if you can use a little bit of moisturizer and let that sink into those areas and then tan maybe after you know 10 minutes just to give it a little bit more hydration and um, but usually our tan like if you use a more hydrating formula like our heavenly elixir or the gradual tan stick with one of the untinted lotion uh, okay. versions of our products and they'll really hydrate and then they should be they should give you so much hydration that you really won't notice much of the um you know the difference in your in your skin texture but I would also say body blur is just mm. creme to the creme for covering any sort of you know redness or patches or anything like that body yeah. blur is fantastic for for evening out the skin tone fantastic I think I'm definitely sold on the body blur <laughs> I'm like tempted to I'm nearly like going online at the moment to order yeah. straight after <laughs> it's the one it's the one thing if I'm going anywhere like I will not go out without body blur at least on my shins it just gives yes. you that celebrity glossy red carpet yeah. leg it's so nice yeah it's definitely going in my basket <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> blur actually has a little sister which is beauty blur we didn't talk and i don't have a slide ready but it's basically i would call it body blur for face <laughs> so yeah. maybe winter when we are all covered up and it's only the face yeah. um, i moved from my regular foundation to um, beauty blur since i've discovered it because it's just oh, wow. again it's so very much natural and but it's a makeup so Consider it a primer or a, um, yes, a foundation, really. Correct. So that's beauty blur. Yes. Beauty blur, yeah. If, yeah. So if you're somebody that likes, you know, quite sheer, very natural, the beauty blur on its own is perfect. And then some people, if you maybe are, if you like a more medium or full coverage foundation, you can actually mix the like half beauty blur, half foundation in equal parts ah. and apply it with a brush. And it's so beautiful. And it just gives you that glow through your foundation. So it's not so heavy. Yeah. yeah, that sounds fabulous. Oh, our baskets will be full yeah. by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> always, no. always check on boots or look fantastic. They're yes, so of course. Big, you know, promotional and promotional activities. Of yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Oh, no, definitely. Um, I love learning all about this tan. It's just 
it's it's absolutely fabulous and they like just everything about it the ingredients and all sounds amazing and mm-hmm. you know I think when you when you do think back to what tan was all those years ago it was that orange you know the yeah. tan nearly turned yeah. green it smelled so bad and you know tan tannin products have come a long way and uh, like you know I've always heard amazing things about beta liberatus so it's fantastic Talking about smell I mean, our product don't have the typical smell of face yeah. at all. But I would just add, and I would talk about Elixir, because, you know, it's a beautiful product. But mm-hmm. one of the things that is going to hook you in is lovely smell of chocolate. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, it's so moisturizing and rich when you put it on. And I love to use it, especially in winter when my skin gets a bit drier. And mm-hmm. it's just it's just so pleasant. It's really a spa tre- treatment <laughs> in a self tanning bottle, basically. Uh, it gives a lovely color and it's buildable. So you don't have, you know, you decide how far you want to go. But what I really like is the sensation on my skin and this beautiful smell of uh, cocoa. Oh, nice. Really it smells incredible. Do you know, I've actually started to use the, so our untinted heavenly elixir, the clear version. Mm-hmm. I absolutely love it on my face at the minute. So I've been using it on my face and neck as my face tan if, oh. because I maybe want a little bit darker than the serum. So the serum, I think, is like a nice introductory product that you can mix and like build up. But if I need like a much deeper color the next day, but I still want all that skincare and hydration, um, even with my combination skin, it's not too, like it's not too much. It doesn't clog me up. Absolutely. I love it. And your face smells so good. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't go on my pillow. It doesn't go on my pillow, you know, at nighttime, it doesn't transfer or on anything. Yes. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I do hate when that happens. It sounds fantastic. Yeah. I love the tinted because what I do, I put it on in the morning after the shower and uh, because it's tinted you're you already have a color so yes. you already mm-hmm. have an effect and you're good to go and then come back shower in the evening go to bed and the next day you actually wake up with the color <laughs> so you have you know, your long lasting effect yeah so yeah day, you're sorted and then it's up to you and most people top it up with uh, fab- uh, fabulous gradual so they keep building the time mm-hmm. Uh, slowly or they keep using uh, tinted I mean, they would say because again it depends on what resonates best with with your skin Brilliant. amazing amazing shall we have a quick look at mist because yeah that's been kind of uh, um well we just launched the tinted tanning mist but we also have a clear mist and I think there is a lot to be said about uh, uh, mist because they're so easy to use. You just, sp- I mean, some people spray it directly on the body and then use the meat. Um, some other, you know, consumer prefer to spray the product on the meat and then apply it, probably giving, you know, it's more precise uh, mm-hmm. way to apply it. But it, it dries quickly. So in a in few seconds, as we say, apply and go. <laughs> You're just ready to go. And you can use the clear one, or if you want immediately a little bit of an effect, uh, you can use the tinted one. I have a couple of videos to show you. Unfortunately, yeah. technology is great when it works. Yeah. Not working. <laughs> I can't share the screen and uh, get the video to go. So, Jill, if you have anything to add on uh, tinted or untinted mist, in the meantime, I'll drag the video okay <laughs> can i ask actually sorry jill can i ask one more question um just on the tanning mitts like the care of the mitts um i know when i've washed them before i'm always afraid to put them into the wash machine after i've used it because i'm afraid of transferring to the clothes and then so can you just tell us like the best way to, to care for your mitts? yeah absolutely um yeah because I think it's the kind of thing you really want to care for and get a lot of yeah. use out of we don't want it to be any sort of disposable product we want them mm-hmm. to last a long time I would say with the mitts sometimes the washing machine can be a little bit too harsh on them okay. um with detergents and it can strip yeah. the softness away I mean you can throw them in but personally I don't really like to do that yeah. I wouldn't worry about transfer onto clothes because a tan's like water based, so it will just wash away. That's no issue. Um, the best thing to do is really just wash it in the sink with 
I mean, you can use like a gentle shampoo or like your face wash, just something nice and gentle oh. and just let it dry, you know, on a radiator. Okay. Um, obviously, yeah. don't wash it straight after you've used it because you probably have tan on. So maybe do it the next day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just be gentle <laughs> with it in the sink and it's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting all my tips. Oh, the mist. I was going to say something about the mist. That was it. Yeah. This oh, is yeah. such a good one for if you're the kind of person that really loves a dark, dark tan, which I know maybe is a, it's extreme of like some people want an ent entry level product and something subtle. Some girls I know just love a dark tan. This one is so good because you don't have to wait till the next day to do a second layer or a third layer. You can literally do your application. It dries immediately and you can go back Amazing. and do second and even sometimes third, depending on how much your skin will absorb. Um, okay. So it's good if you like a really dark color. I would say, though, if you're doing that with either of our mists, um, grab like a towel or I just have like a face cloth. I kind of keep handy. Once you've applied it, just give it a really good buff around, you know, areas like here, yes. Um, mm -hmm. like around the back of your feet and your ankles and everywhere. Just buff it really hard. And it just means that, the tan isn't going to cling around those areas and it just gives okay. you a really nice flawless finish. Oh, that's a great one. So. Not and is that with all the tans? Yeah. Yeah, I would generally do that with all tans. Um, I would always put maybe a little bit of moisturizer on, you know, knees, elbows, yeah. hands, feet. Yes. And I just use very, very little, just what's left on my mitt for those areas. And then yes. I'll still go back in and yes. just well, give it a wee buff. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's great. Yeah. I love the sound mm -hmm. of the mitt because of, it drying straight away I hate that tacky feeling when you put a tan on and it's just I just have that kind of skin it takes such a long time for it to soak in and um, so you're walking around trying to get it to dry before getting dressed or or whatever so I love the sound of the mist for drying I think the mist or the mousse would be perfect okay. for you. either or dry in so fast and the mousse in particular I find just makes my skin so soft like okay. I mean both of them do but because the ingredients are great, but yeah. uh, they're just, they're great products. Fantastic. Mm. So let me see if it works and you can hear it. Vita Liberata have a whole new look. They've got some gorgeous new packaging. And today I want to show you their new clear tanning mist. It's perfect for a natural looking tan and it's buildable so you can customize it to your perfect shade. It's got no guide color and it glides on like silk. It contains organic aloe, which is ultra hydrating for the most nourished skin, hyaluronic acid, which retains moisture and plumps the skin and licorice to soothe and refresh your complexion. Next up is my firm favorite, Vita Liberata Tanning Anti-Aging Face Serum, which contains organic aloe, bacuchiol, and organic glycerin. As you can see from my before and afters, it works a treat. I give it 10 out of 10, highly recommend to everybody. She looks incredible. Her skin. Yeah, I love her hair. <laughs> I feel like her voice is so seductive in that video as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like yeah. seduced into the tan. <laughs> oh my God. This all came across to our product. And I love that video because it also shows how to combine two products. So yeah. if you, want, uh, you can customize the effect. If it makes sense. I love it. And I think this one is just a little bit of fun, to be honest, on the clear. Uh, let me check. So you can also love it. the bottle if you want. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a lovely, really like fine mist, the way it comes yeah. out of the pump. It's great. It's actually not one I have ever tried before, and all the times I have tried, I've never tried a mist. So I'm so intrigued by it. Amazing. So I think we have, um, I think we've answered all the questions. Is there one more? Um, um, oh, I yeah, think Rita's Rita's just said the body blur sounds like the perfect hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I suppose we better let people get back to their lunches. Um, it's been fab. Thanks to everyone for joining. Um, and thanks to Marika and Jill and Alex. Yes, it's been absolutely wonderful. I can see on your screen there, Marika, the, the giveaway. If you want to just tell people again what you'd like them to do. 
Absolutely. Well, thanks for having us first. Uh, we love to talk about Seth Cunning, mm -hmm. if you didn't guess that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, giveaway time. First of all, share a fact or a fun fact that you learned today with your friends. Tag us, tag Vita Liberata, and get your chance to win this lovely, we call it the luxury hero set. Oh, Basically, you will have a mist, the fab grad, which is your basic really and uh, the famous beauty blur for you to try so we'll pick nice. as long as you tag us then we we'll know you know we we'll see it on social media and uh, we'll pick a lucky winner so again thank Amazing. you very much and let's keep in touch so absolutely uh, you can find me on instagram most of the videos are are there so you know we have so much content from influencers or consumers for sharing their experience and uh, have a look We're on facebook we have a youtube channel always a bit work in progress and uh, also tiktok uh, which is which we are launching in these days so there's plenty of content out there just find us happy to have and if you have any questions we keep an eye on the uh, beauty bodies um, mm -hmm. up as well yeah, yeah, fantastic. And like I said at the start, we had set this to record, so anyone that had maybe registered and missed it, we can send it on to them so they can learn all about it as well. Yeah. So thank you so much again. It's been absolutely fantastic. I think myself and Kira are about to go shopping <laughs> uh, for our favorite products that you've mentioned today. Um, we've really, really enjoyed it, and thank yeah. you again. Yeah, so nice to meet you, and thanks everyone for joining. Great. Take Perfect. care. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.